okay people uh, today we will uh, see how to draw this uh, flange uh, which is a mechanical uh, drawing and uh, this is the uh, flange that we will draw and then we will take out uh, these uh, views so uh, we have to go to SketchUp now I will close uh, SketchUp for you and start fresh so that uh, you see how to draw it so uh, we click on SketchUp and uh, you see this large tool uh, bar here so if you don't have uh, the toolbar uh, you don't have the toolbar ready uh, so you can go to view and click on toolbars and here is the large tool set if you click on it it will appear on the left hand side of your screen so you close it so this is your workspace click on this guy and delete so uh, that's the uh, workspace now uh, the other thing we have to do is uh, these are uh, this is the flange and these uh, dimensions that you see are in centimeters so uh, we have to uh, prepare the drawing unit here into centimeters so that uh, we can uh, do the measurements correctly so we click uh, on SketchUp and uh, click on the window and here you see this option called model info click on model info so there you have uh, the units so uh, this is the last of the options so click on the format change it to decimal and from the inches change it to centimeter and you can see there are four places after decimal so uh, we uh, reduce the precision and change it to zero so uh, once we have set it we close uh, this window now uh, we have to draw this flange so if you look at this arm we'll draw this arm first so this arm uh, is a rectangular box so uh, if you look at this one this is 11 centimeters and 36 centimeters so we go to SketchUp take this uh, rectangle tool click and we go close to the origin and uh, we click here and we move it out like this you can see the uh, SketchUp shows uh, the dimensions dynamically on the screen. So we move our mouse here, and the dimension that we need is 36, comma 11. So we type on the keyboard. Uh, as soon as you type on the keyboard, uh, you will see that uh, figure. So again, once we do it once again, uh, 36, comma 11. Uh, we have to activate SketchUp here. Uh, 36 comma 11 hit enter so that's our rectangle now you can zoom on it by scrolling your mouse button middle mouse button uh, so this is uh, the box now if you look at this height this is uh, 32 uh, so we have to take this option which is called push and pull click on it move on top of this box click move up type 32 on the keyboard and hit enter so uh, that's you, you can access this uh, orbit tool by pressing the middle mouse button and holding it down and moving your mouse you can access this so we change the view we zoom out by scrolling so that's uh, our box which is uh, this uh, box as you can see this one now if you look closely this box has got a, a rounded end which is a half circle so this is the, the half circle we have to draw so we go to SketchUp again take this circle tool click if you move your mouse uh, like if you move on this edge you can draw a circle here if you move on that side you can move the draw a circle there so we want to draw a circle on this edge we move along this edge and it will snap the midpoint we click move out and click so that's our circle now this line is an extra line we don't need so we hit uh, we click on it and we delete and uh, move the view to this side now we have to push pull this edge up to here so take this uh, push pull button bring it here click move it on this edge and if you see this uh, red box on edge you click so that's our rounded end we click on this line hit delete on the keyboard move to that side to click on this line hit delete on the keyboard so that's the uh, one of the arms 
of the flange but it has got a hole in it circular hole and that hole is uh, its diameter is 16 that means its radius is 8 so we click and we take the circle tool move along this 8 until it hits the center click move out type 8 and hit enter so that's our circle now we have to make a hole so we take the push and pull button here and click on it now you have to remember that if you move more than it will stick out more than this edge it will stick out like this if you move it less it will not be a hole so we, it has to be exactly uh, up to this edge so as you as you see this red on edge snap button turns on you click on it so uh, there you have a nice hole into this arm so that's one of the arms of this flange so this arm we have just drawn we have to draw this arm which is an exact copy of this one so if you look at the distance uh, it's 11 centimeters here and 18 uh, centimeters here so that's altogether 29 centimeters uh, if you take this point so to make a copy 29 uh, centimeters to that side so move your view here and uh, uh, select this whole object now you have to move it so click now if you look at this move button it says move stretch copy and array selected object so uh, we click on this one and we have to make a copy so you have to keep this original here and put a copy uh, 29 centimeters on this side so if you look at this option here it says control toggle copy that means uh, you can copy if you uh, press the control button on the keyboard so we come on top of this one and we press the control button on the keyboard you cannot see on the screen but i am holding the control button down so as soon as i hold the control button down you can see a plus sign appearing that means i'm going to make a copy so you click move along this edge you see that green line so now i let go of the control button and type 29 hit enter so that's my other arm and uh, take this dimension to here if I click here and see here I can see it's 18 centimeter ap uh, centimeter apart uh, which is uh, this is okay so we press the escape button now we have to draw another arm uh, which is 11 uh, centimeter wide and connects uh, these two arms so uh, we take this tape measure tool here and uh, click here move along this edge and type 11 hit enter so uh, that's the 11 centimeter point we take this uh, rectangle tool and click here and click on this opposite corner so that's the rectangle and we have to push pull it down here so take the push pull button click here move down and click so that's the flange now if you click on these lines and hit delete on the keyboard uh, you can get rid of the extra extra lines that we have so we click, click and this is the reference line click so that's the uh, main body of the flange but we have to draw this uh, circular arm uh, which will be a projection from this end so take uh, the circle tool Take the circle tool and uh, if you move along this edge and move here it will snap so once it snaps on the midpoint if you move down you will see it is tracking so if you move along this edge and come on top of this midpoint you will see that this is snapping as you move down it will track and move along this edge this will be on the midpoint and if you move uh, gradually it will snap at the intersection of this point and intersection of this point so click here move it outward and if you remember this one uh, this has got a, a diameter of 18 which means radius of 9 so move to this side type 9 hit enter so that's the base of your circular arm and you have to drag it to by 32 centimeters so take this push and pull button click here move out 
type 32 hit enter so this is our uh, flange uh, we have created uh, this three-dimensional uh, object of this flange so we go and save the file save as and uh, give this a uh, name called flange and save it now our next step would be we have created this three-dimensional object our next step would be to get these uh, three different views and put them in a page layout so that is the uh, next part of our uh, tutorial.